sitting here with Ahmed Maher, who is one of the co-founders of the April 6th movement in the Egypt Arab Spring. Thanks for joining us. Uh, why are you here in Washington? Uh, we are here in Washington. To, uh, we got an invitation from uh, our American Institute and also from the Egyptian American and from the American University to talk about what happened in Egypt and the future and uh, what is our behavior to the next uh, step in Egypt. And we're only a few weeks away from parliamentary elections in Egypt and the presidential elections after that. What is the April 6th movement doing right now? And what are you focused on? Are you concerned about how the elections are going to turn out? Um, now we are uh, not a political party and we are not uh, having candidates in that uh, uh, parliament elections. But we have uh, our campaign. It's now called White Circles and Black Circles to talk about the criteria of uh, good persons in the parliament and good candidates and also the criteria of bad candidates of the parliament and try to ban the, the, the NDB guys to running uh, again from the elections or, or winning in that elections and also our main goal in that campaign to make the people be a part of politics in Egypt and be more uh, uh, positive and uh, be a part of decision uh, in Egypt. What is the use relationship with the Supreme Council of Armed Forces now, SCAF, and what is April 6 or your uh, relationship with them now, and how has it changed since February till now? Uh, in February they called us and we had many meetings with the SCAF and continuing in March and April and May, but uh, they ignored all our projects, they ignored all our advices, uh, and they have a, a, a project, they have um, a plan to uh, build a, a new regime, but not different to the, the past uh, the previous regime. So um, now we have we haven't a connection at the youth groups, but they, the the youth political party they have a connection because they talk about uh, elections and elections law and something like that. Um, after the statement for, uh, from SCAF against April 6, now we haven't any meetings. It seems like immediately after the Tahrir revolution, um, there was a lot of support between the military and the youth group. That distance seems to widen, where uh, SCAF, uh, you said earlier that you think SCAF might want something very similar, not that different than the Mubarak regime, the military is still in control of parliament. What is your vision of Egypt versus their vision, and how do you bridge that? I and mean, then how do you ensure that the people are victorious with their demands as opposed to the existing military structure? Uh, I think um, our main goal from before the revolution is that uh, have a new Egypt, a new regime about uh, freedom of speech, about uh, democracy, about equality, citizenship, uh, uh, social justice. That's our main demands. So to do that, to do involving in, in uh, Media involving in uh, education, in health insurance, and in projects, we try to change the regime, not Mubarak. Change the regime that we try to enjoy, uh, change the mentality of the people, change the rules, change the constitution. So that's our vision to make a change. But uh, they they want to uh, keep uh, some some rules, keep the. Uh, there is no supervision to many things. They can control it, uh, so we continue to pressure. But I think any, any new regime, anything that will happen in the future, uh, it will be better than uh, Barak regime. Uh, last, last question for you. You said earlier in your speech that you feel that um, this is the beginning of the revolution, and then the revolution will continue after the election. What did you mean by that? How, how will the revolution continue? Is there a chance that people? would take to the streets if they don't see the elections being sort of the democracy that they envisioned? What do you mean by a continuing revolution? Continuing revolution is that um, the people will, will go to the street again if they feel uh, not optimistic, if they didn't have any solution to them problems, if they uh, didn't uh, get a new uh, parliament or a good parliament, if they didn't get a, a good uh, government or president. So the evolution will continue until we have the real change. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, Dr. Mahaprabhu.